Hey guys, what's up? Today we are going to discuss about a quadratic equation which is somewhat different from the normal type of question. So let us join me in solving this question. Okay. Now, so 3 into x minus 4 whole square minus 5 into x minus 4 is equal to 12. See, I am first telling the normal method how people will solve it. Normal method. That is 3 into x minus 4 whole square is a minus b whole square. a minus b whole square. a square minus 2ab plus b square. Like that, x square minus 8x plus 16 minus 5 into x plus 20 is equal to 12. So 3x square minus 24x plus 48 minus 5x plus 20 minus 12 is equal to 0 3x square minus 24 minus 5 minus 29x plus 48 plus 8 plus 56 so solving for this this is normal method now i am going to tell the smart way smart way of solving smart way of solving So the smart way of solving is assume x minus 4 is equal to a. Why? Because see if you observe the question, uh, if you observe the question carefully, this x minus 4 term is present here and here. So therefore, why can't we assume it as some variable? So it will become 3a square minus 5a is equal to 12. And that will become 3a square minus 5a minus 12 is equal to 0. Now, what we have to do? We have to factorize. Factorization means multiply the quotient of a square or the first term with the last term. So, what will you get? Minus 36, right? So, 3 into minus 12 is minus 36 a square. Now, we have to write factors for 36. So, it is 1, 36 and 2, 18 and 3, 12 and 4, 9. I think 1 and 36 is not going to work out because you have to get difference or uh, I mean uh, some are difference as minus 5. Anyway, you will not get minus 5 here, here also you will not get, here also you will not get. But see here, 4 minus 9 is minus 5, 4 into minus 9 is minus 36. So 4 minus 9 is minus 5 and 4 into minus 9 is minus 36. So take it. This take to this I mean take these two factors. Okay, now 3a square minus 5a can be written as plus 4a minus 9a minus 12 is equal to 0. 3a square plus 4a minus 9a minus 12 is equal to 0. Now from the first two terms, uh, now yeah, arrange this term in front of uh, this term and this send this term to that side because uh, you can take three common from the both terms right i'm um, rewriting it 3a square minus 9a plus 4a minus 2 is equal to 0. why i wrote like this means from these two terms you can simply take three common right so take 3a common a will be present here minus 3 plus 4 common a minus 3 is equal to 0 and from these two terms take these two common a minus 3 it will become 3a plus 4 that means either this have to be equal to 0 or this have to be equal to 0 that means a minus 3 is equal to 0 or 3a plus 4 is equal to 0 that will become a is equal to plus 3 or a is equal to minus 4 by 3 first take a is equal to 3 consider consider a is equal to 3 but what is a here x minus 4 is equal to a na? so ultimately we have to find a so x minus 4 is equal to a therefore x minus 4 is equal to what is a we got here 3 so 3 x is equal to 3 plus 4 that implies x is equal to 7 right we have to find x value similarly consider consider a 
minus 4 by 3 yes minus 4 by 3 a is equal to minus 4 by 3 and what is a here we got x minus 4 x minus 4 is equal to minus 4 by 3 and x is equal to minus 4 will go to that side it become plus 4 4 minus 4 by 3 3 4 12 12 minus 4 is 8 x is equal to 8 by 3 x is equal to 7 or x is equal to 8 by 3. Now we got we got these two answers, right? Yeah. We got these two answers. And how to verify our answers are correct or not? Simply by substituting it. By substituting the answers, we can simply verify. First take the question 3 into x minus 4 whole square. 3 into x minus 4 whole square minus 5 into x minus 4 is equal to all, right? We got x is equal to 7 and x is equal to 8 by 3 we will just uh, prove it x is equal to 7 now substitute in the question 3 into 7 minus 4 whole square minus 5 into 7 minus 4 is equal to 12 3 into 7 minus 4 is 3 3 square is 9 minus 7 minus 4 is 3 is equal to 12 3 nines are 27 minus 5 3 that 15 is equal to 12 27 minus 15 is 12 12 is equal to 12 hence verified now Put x is equal to 8 by 3. Put x is equal to 8 by 3. It will become 3 into 8 by 3 minus 4 whole square minus 5 into 8 by 3 minus 4 is equal to 12. 3 into 8 by 3 minus 4. 3 fours are 12. 8 minus 12 minus 4 by 3 whole square minus 5 into same thing minus 4 by 3 is equal to 12 so it will become 3 into 16 by 3 times 3 plus 20 by 3 so 1 3 1 3 cancel 16 by 3 plus 20 by 3 16 plus 20 by 3 36 by 3 that equal to 12 so 12 and 12 so we got hence our answers are verified hence our answers are verified so in this way we can do this problem and if you have any queries, please feel free to contact and subscribe for more videos. Subscribe for more videos. This is me, Tutor Lokesh.